stars have worn the uniform of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Charlie Conacher, Selaps, Teeter Kennedy, George Armstrong. But tonight I want to tell you the strange story of the most unusual Toronto Maple Leaf superstar. The greatest goalie who ever lived, Billy Chikowski. <laughs> there was something funny about this guy. I mean, besides his face. <laughs> The sports writers all said he had made a deal with the devil. It all started when little Billy was a kid. Like millions of other Canadian boys, he dreamed of playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But his mother had other plans. She wanted him to be a great musician. For the face-off, Ross, Richard, and Ovechkin. As they clear the puck out to center ice, Ross forward pass, hit Thompson, guards uh -huh. out on the forward I line. I you play. again. Every time I turn my back. But, Mother, it's the Stanley Cup. And Trump told us in the match. You will never get to be a concert pianist unless you practice. Just let me listen to the end. There's only three minutes left. In three minutes, you could play the minute waltz three times. <laughs> Gee, well, look at it this way. It's a hot trick. <laughs> Music cards. Mozart, Mendelssohn, Bach, six to this. Johann Sebastian Bach, five foot six, 153 pounds, scored over 750 compositions in 23 seasons with Weimar, Dresden, and Leipzig. <laughs> Bach practiced. You practiced. <laughs> Tchaikovsky? Oh, it's you again. Can Billy come out to play? No, he cannot. And I wish you would stop bothering him while he's practicing. Don't you ever practice? I was practicing this morning. What? Slap shot. <laughs> you will never amount to anything, Daryl Fittler. <laughs> You young. <laughs> Yes, Billy? Can I stop now? How long have you been playing? 22 years. <laughs> He's practicing. Chicago and Mike Palmatier is in the next. 
Hey, listen to me. I've got something to say to you, young man. Wait, well, we'll talk during the beer commercial. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Every time I turn my back, you're watching hockey. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Not now, please. My favorite is on. Peter Puck. <laughs> Down. And you listen to me. I have dedicated my entire life to making you into a great concert pianist. Don't you care about what your mother wants? Well, what about me? Ever since I was a little kid, you kept me chained to this piano, never asking me what I wanted. Well, what do you want? Well, first of all, can you unchain me from the piano? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> now I know how the Count of Monte Cristo fell. In a moment, Act Two of The Unholy Golem. And now back to The Unholy Golem, the story of a young man whose mother wanted him to be a concert pianist. 